All right, so I'm here with another layout, and this is when we went to Miami a year or two ago, and we were um, walking on um, the Miami Beach, on Miami Beach, and we, um, you walk by the Versace Mansion, and so we were across the street, and we in took pictures with the mansion in the background. And my background is going to be Basil cardstock. And then my paper layers are going to, I'm just going to use some scraps. And the photo mats were cardstock. So I have all these scraps accumulated squirrels are chasing each other in the competition for the corn. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so here you're going to see me layer, trying to layer and use up all these crap. So it's just a matter of figuring out how to layer all the scraps and make it look right. Because I have all these strips. And so what I'm using here are magnet buttons that you can buy. I think there's 50 to a pack at Walmart for 4 or $5. And then just an air bake cookie sheet. This works out perfect. It goes through, as you see, there are, um, for that paper layer, there's one, two, three, four, five layers of cardstock to the metal underneath. And it holds perfectly fine. These are really good magnets and it goes through many layers it will even go it will even hold um, chipboard so once I figured out yep this is how I want it and it helps keep it from shifting because I get frustrated trying to figure okay how do I want this and then it shifts and moves so if I was thinking I probably should have left the layers Left the layers and then tried to glue the strips with my ATG as they were. Because now I gotta try to remember oh, how did I have them? I decided to cut that one into a banner. So I'm going to ink the edges, and here's Pat, and he's going to try to lay on my layout. He's so frustrating sometimes. Mm. So I'm just going to adhere everything down so I no longer have to worry about it trying to shift and I'm sorry Patton keeps going 
Hold on. You need to turn that down. I don't want to hear your TV. Well, just crack your door, but don't latch it. Yeah. Thank you. See all my scraps. <laughs> Alright, so now for the die cuts. So what do I do are I'm going to use some of the die cuts. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Oh, I don't use die cuts. No, I'm going to use... Well, I do use die cuts. Never mind. <laughs> I just didn't write it down. Clear, post. Oh, I do use die cuts. That's the crepe... Oh, not crepe paper. That's the Hip Kit Club's Chasing Rainbow die cuts. And then I'm going to use some of the puppy stickers, which are um, American Crafts Dreamer stickers. I use chipboard stickers, as you see, and the, that's uh, crepe papers, all heart. Oh my goodness, I got sleepy all of a sudden. <sighs> Oh, probably because I ate at lunch and I'm like <sighs> tired now. <sighs> so I was just trying to figure out if there was any other puppy stickers that I can use. But mm -hmm. um, okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Cool. Alright, then those clear butterflies, I believe, I want to say that those are crepe papers chasing, or crepe papers, um, all heart, but, because I didn't write it down, but they may be, let me see if I use them, clear, because I have clear stickers, which are crepe papers, all heart, and then I have, because those are the clear stickers right there, and then I have those butterflies, ooh, do not write those down. Oh yeah, butterflies are hip kit clubs chasing rainbows. That's what I was about to say. Say they're either the all hard or the chasing rainbows. So I'm gonna glue everything down. So, 
I'm also going to use the cloth bows that came in this kit. And clubs fabric bows. And those didn't really tell you exactly how to put them together. I tried to get them like the photo. Um, they were quite hard. Never tried bows like that before. I mean, however, really cool, but I wasn't 100% sure because the bow seemed to be bigger than the strip underneath. So it was weird. I don't know. I couldn't get them to like, cooperate. And you'll see me struggle with that shortly. <laughs> Once I get all my die cuts down. This one has a lot going on. It has the paper layers and then it's a, not quite as embellishment heavy, but it is a little bit. No, well, not even a little bit. Well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> a little bit embellishment heavy. I don't know. And then here's where I spell out Versace which is American Crafts Chill Thickers, and then, which came in the kit, May Kit, and then, which is the kit I'm working on right now, and then Mansion is going to be American Crafts Happy Day Thickers. And then, that pretty much will complete this. <laughs> And I was like, no, I didn't like it. I was going to do house, and then I realized, oh, no, <laughs> that's not a house. That is a mansion. <laughs> See, I did house, and I was like, oh, wait a minute. I can't do house. So I was like, Versace house. <laughs> and then I was like, you'll see, I, maybe I change it later. And not now. I think I put this down. And in my head, I was thinking mansion. And then I was like, oh, I did house. Let's see. And then I was like, oh, wait a minute. I spelled house. Because in my head, I was like Versace mansion. And then I put down, went to put down the H. And I was like, wait a minute. So here's where I just go ahead and I put down mansion. I was trying to figure out how much of a space to put between Versace and Mansion. And once I get the title done, that pretty much completes my layout. So when I have more done, I'll be back with those. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.